Slow down, you're doing fine You can't be everything you wanna be before your time Although it's so romantic on the borderline Tonight, tonight Too bad, but it's the life you- It's fall, which means it's beanie season So, here's a quick tutorial on how to make a beanie Get some worsted weight yarn and a 5.5mm hook and take the end and make a slip knot. Here it's too big so I tighten it a little and then put it on my hook. Now we're going to start chaining so I'm doing 38 chains. This is how long the beanie is going to be and here's how it looks. Now you're going to skip the first two chains and in the third chain you're going to make a half double crochet. Then keep half double crocheting across the chain until you reach the end of the row. That's your first row, then you're going to chain two and flip your work. Now you're going to skip those two stitches, yarn over, and insert your hook only into the back loop of that stitch. Keep making half double crochets only into the back loop for the rest of the row. You're going to repeat that row until you reach 36 rows, and it creates this nice ribbing. Next, you're going to fold it in half and attach the sides together. I do this by single crocheting them together. Next, you're going to take some yarn and attach it to the top of the beanie and start weaving it through the top along like that until you reach all the way around, and then you can just pull it closed. Make sure to tie it really tightly and I double knot it here and then weave in the ends and then you have your beanie. I like to fold over the end here and go forth and crochet. Nobody's gonna know. Let's make a nice cozy fluffy blanket. You'll need four skeins of Bernat blanket yarn. You'll need a 12 millimeter crochet hook. Start by making yourself a slip knot and placing that on your crochet hook. Then you'll make a chain of 70. Make sure you make your foundation chain nice and loose so that you'll be able to work back through it with ease. Go ahead and make your chain of 70 by yarning over and pulling through, wrapping the yarn around the crochet hook and then pulling it through the loop that's on the hook. Yarn over, pull through, do that 70 times. We're going to start crocheting in the third stitch from the hook. Count over three stitches, not including the loop that's on your hook. You then you're going to yarn over, meaning wrapping the yarn around the crochet hook. In that third space, you're going to start doing your first stitch. Okay, let's do it together. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook, pull back through the loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Pull through all three. Continue doing this stitch, which is called a half double crochet stitch, all the way down your foundation chain. This is the stitch that you're going to carry through your entire project. At the end of the row, you're going to chain one, turn your work. In the very first space there, you're going to place your half double crochet. Yarn over, Insert the crochet hook into that space, pull back through, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Continue doing that until you finish three rows of the same color. You can complete your blanket using the same color or you can change your yarn colors like I have making stripes. To change the yarn color, follow along with the screen or just simply tie your yarn together at the end of the row. Make a chain of one, turn your work, and continue doing your half double crochet stitch in the first stitch of the row. Continue working until you reach 70 rows, alternating yarn or keeping the same color. My final blanket measured 48 by 50. Customize your blanket by making your foundation chain shorter or longer, also varying your rows. After you're done with your 70 rows, cut the yarn and pull the tail through the loop. That's it guys, you've created yourself a nice cozy blanket.
To crochet a solid granny square. Make a slip knot. Chain 4 and slip stitch in first chain to make a ring. Chain 3. Do two double crochets in the ring. Chain 2 to make a corner. Do 3 double crochets then chain 2. Repeat until you have 4 groups of 3 double crochet. To make the last corner chain 1 then single crochet in the top of the starting chain 3. Chain 3. Do 2 double crochet around the single crochet from the last round. Skip the starting chain and double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. In the corner space, do two double crochet, then chain two. Now do three double crochet in the corner space. Skip the first stitch and do a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Chain 2 and slip stitch to join, or do an invisible join. You can make your squares as big as you want.
Christmas. And while that may not be enough time to make a sweater for everybody in your family, here are some small crochet projects that you can make for all of the people in your life. Headscarves and headbands always work up a lot faster for me than beanies, and you can make them in a bunch of different colors for someone. I also like this pattern of headband. These are so, so easy to make. And hear me out, I know that these can be a little complicated, but they're a lot smaller than sweaters and cardigans and all of those fancy things. So why not make some on the cute little stuffy? YouTube has plenty of tutorials for stuffed animals that you can crochet super quickly. And smaller than those, but still super cute, can be car charms, keychains, anything that you can kind of just put on a little piece of rope or string and give to somebody. For the coffee lovers in your life, you can make them a bunch of different little cup cozies so that they can put their little Starbucks in it. Or water bottle holders so we can stay hydrated too. I love this little thing, whatever it is. I think it's a little granny square, um, like coin pouch, but then, you know, you could put stuff in it, little crystals or coins or whatever. I think these are so, so adorable. Basically any form of case, book covers, AirPods cases, switch cases the switch case in question i have one for my switch and it has like a zipper that the girl stitched on it too it's really cute and lets me take my switch anywhere without me having to worry about it getting scuffed again book cover super cute a crochet steering wheel would be so adorable i just haven't had the time to make one for myself but i think if i did it would look something like this I said this in one of my other crochet videos, but basically I made a bunch of little ornaments last Christmas and gave them out to anybody else who was um, someone in my life that I still wanted to give something to, but like didn't have like a like a crazy big relationship with, if that makes sense. Like these went to all of my professors last year. I made a bunch for baristas that I know at my local coffee shops, people like that. And I think that, you know, just giving little crochet homemade gifts is super cute during the holidays. Okay, I think that's about all of the ideas I have for crochet Christmas gifts, but hopefully that got your little creative minds flowing. We've got some gift ideas going, we've got some yarn out, we've got our hooks out. Um, best of luck to all of you with your crafting. I can't wait to see what everybody makes this holiday season. Um, I really need to get started on my gifts, but yeah. Also, don't overthink this because everybody loves getting a good homemade gift, and it really is the thought that counts. The older I get, the more I realize that, so... Don't stress yourselves out.
Thank you.